Nadav, first of all. I want to see what Nadav is saying. So Nadav, um, formerly a producer of Your Mum's House and loads of shows they do over there, quit Your Mum's House to do his own thing. And he's got his own channel called The Very Nadav Show. Um, he actually got a lot of help from the fans, actually, because he set up his Patreon that he was doing loads of stuff on. Let me actually see what his Patreon is saying at the moment. I actually need to update mine because I already recorded stuff. But let me see what his Patreon is saying because he got a lot of support from his fans. So that, that's that's pretty cool to see. So let's see what other things he got here from his Patreon. I want to see what his Patreon is saying. Is there anything there? Nothing? Nope. Okay, cool. Let's do Nadav Patreon. Let's see what it's saying here. The very because last time I checked it, it was like a thousand something, right? Let's see if the fans are still there because a lot of fans jumped on to help him out. Let's see if there's still the same level of fans out there wanting to help him and shit. I'm curious to see what the deal is. Oh shit, still in it. 230 members, three posts, and he's got 1,722. Very very good. Um, so far he's got was that three posts, right? Three posts for the members so far. So he's keeping up. So he's not he's not flopping as quickly as I thought he was. So he did an sh- episode three days ago, how to be a producer. He's got another one. Says another tier. I didn't love a tier. <laughs> of course, look at this guy, man. The begging is fucking crazy. Hello, hello, post on the nineteenth, tw- and then a few days later, I guess he got a bit nervous because the rent was due. I did another tier. <laughs> <laughs> the rent was due in a few days i added another tier please <laughs> please thank you for everyone who's been supporting me my new chapter so far can't tell you how excited i am some people are asking for a tier between 10 and 150 dollars oh some people are asking right which is quite a jump so i added a he had only honestly the greed he had only two tiers 10 dollars or 150 <laughs> I've got a tier that's one dollar on my Patreon. One dollar, right? Because I'm I, my uploads are sporadic, and you know it's fucking Patreon. Who gives a fuck, really? You just need to fucking put content on there in the first place. But I've got one dollar tiers. This guy has ten dollars to one fifty, and he's only a, he's only made one piece of content, and he's already getting one. Honestly. The, the fans have to the fans have a huge responsibility and sometimes enabling some of these guys he's he's not even uploaded anything special only one episode so far and he's already got one literally 2000 and then he <laughs> his fans his fans had to tell him hey dude could you maybe add a tier in between <laughs> not one below in between god almighty Right now, it's just going to be that to get things earlier than everyone else's. Um, but I'll be add more value. Time goes on. Thank you. Fucking hell, bro. Okay, man. Good crash for him anyway. Let's see his video. Congrats to him. Let's see the video. Let's see what he's done. So this is the very Nadav show. Let's see. Is Nadav show worth $10 a month on Patreon, $25 a month, or $150 a month? Let's see. Nadav Iskowitz. Fucking hell, bro. That is a... That's a name, isn't it? Nadav Itzkowitz is dead and Skankfest Comedy Festival. Okay, cool. Let's see what he's doing here. Nadav is a funny guy, man. (laughs) The fans told me. So, it's the first episode. I'm really going to be covering two main topics in this video. Topic number one... Nadav Itzkowitz is dead, as reported by a whole bunch of AI and foreign YouTube channels. And two, uh, Skankfest in Las Vegas. Okay. Which was... Okay. I've noticed in some of my clips, I have a tendency to sometimes... And again, I'm genuine, I feel like, when I'm laughing at myself or laughing at the things that I'm saying. But I'm noticing it now with him. Do I need to turn it down with my laughing to myself when I'm joking around and shit? Because I think I sound, I think I must look like this also. Because this is unnerving. Why is he laughing like that? And he's rehearsed this too. He's rehearsed this and he's acting as if he's saying this for the first time. This is kind of unhinged. 
reported by a whole bunch of AI and foreign YouTube channels. And <laughs> why is he laughing like that as something that he rehearsed? I think I'm the same, man. I I, I don't know. I, I got to look myself in the mirror, bro. I got. I'll be like, are, are you the man in the mirror? Because <laughs> I think I do this too. To uh, Skankfest in Las Vegas, which was wild. Welcome to the first episode of Catching You Up with Nadav, uh, sh- a podcast about podcasts, a show about shows, content about content. And before we get into it, I would like to say that this first episode of Catching You Up is executive produced by Cap Studios. If you- this nigga has producers. For this, yeah. If you'd like to become an executive producer of the show, you can click the Patreon link in the description. Oh my god. God. Nadav, man. Is this, again, people that watch, I watch a lot of content. I watch a lot of content creators. Sometimes I miss stuff. Is this normal? This level of begging? Is this what I should be doing? Everything's like a little sly promo. Yeah, and you'll find that more information on my Patreon. Sign up to my sub sub, sub stack. Like subscribe. Like, is this what people do? This level of begging, this like sneak fucking plug all the time. Should I be doing that more often? Yeah, guys. Um, links in the description. Support the show. See if this the um to be able to do this show, I do it for you guys. So if you support the show, I can do more. It's like, ugh. just fucking talk, you fucking cunt. Like. Just do the shit. But maybe I'm missing out something. Maybe I should do this more. And if you want to be a a supporter of the show, the random show. Welcome back to the random show. My name is Agostino. This stream is brought to you by Podcast One. For more information on the leading podcast network in the industry, please visit www.tfatk.com and enter the code BAPA for 10% off on Happy Hippo products. This show is brought to you by Podcast One in association with Cast Media and the BAPAverse. For more information on how you can support the show, join the Patreon. <laughs> For more information, to be an executive producer, sign up to the Patreon. Oh, I get it. So the executive producer role is payola. This isn't really real. This is payola. Ah, oh. so it's like um, it's like people putting their name on the on the end of film credits, right? Executive produced by Harvey Weinstein. Ah, oh, but it's pay. Okay, I get it. I get it. So the day before my YMH episode came out, Tom and Christina posted the in memoriam that was played during my segment. And that made everyone think I was dead. And that's pretty fucking crazy. The reactions were all (laughs) over the... Why does he laugh like that? (laughs) Dude, man. Dude, Nadav. Chill, brother. Chill. We're going to give you money. We're going to support your patron. I know the mortgage is due. He's probably got a wife and kids and stuff. I understand the nervousness. When you go out on your own for the first time, having had a job for seven years, it can be difficult, but you have to kind of relax. The nervousness and the anxiety is coming through the screen, but just chill. We're going to support your patron, I promise. Spectrum, and by that I mean mostly autistic. But it's... No, I actually, it wasn't... No, 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 no. Some people, some people got it was a bit, but I'll tell you who didn't. AI and foreign YouTube channels. And I'm not gonna lie, it was some of the funniest fucking shit I have ever seen. It's interesting. So AI really is taking over because I don't the headphones. <laughs> it's fucking shit I have ever seen. It's interesting. <laughs> there's something wrong with this guy, man. Like, there's something really wrong with this man. But I think it's normal for a producer, isn't it, right? All producers have a little bit of a, you know? All podcast, you have to be a little bit. Because he has, imagine the amount of content he listens to by force. He has to edit and shit. Set up camera stuff, listen to their inside baseball talk. They can play like, 
It's going to drive anybody a bit cuckoo. Interesting. So AI really is taking over because I don't even know if a human made this or looked over it or it was just they automatically scrape obituaries or things that are trending and then just quickly make YouTube videos about it. But holy shit, dude, like let me let me play you some of this stuff because it's fucking wild. Nadavitskowitz obituary. There is buzz on the social media about death news of the Nadavitskowitz. Of the Nadavitskowitz. The news has spread rapidly among the fans as various sources verify. Why is he smiling at this? At the death of the producer. Various sources verify. Nadav gained widespread recognition for his role in producing the Your Mom's podcast. Mm -hmm. Nadavitskowitz was the producer of the YHM Studios. YHM Studios. Tom's statement that Nadav is no longer with us was something like shock for the fans. He began his production career with LXTV, NBC Universal in 2008. Holy shit! Nadavitskowitz professional career. That's actually Nadav accurate. joined as a producer to the YHM Studios in 2016. Also accurate. Prior to it, he was working as assistant editor to Digital Kitchen Company. Also accurate. He used to put in a lot of effort to ensure that every work environment is enjoyable. Nadavitskowitz. Where the fuck did they get that line from? What? Nadav would put in a lot of effort to make sure every thing was enjoyable. They might have scraped that from my LinkedIn profile. I think they scraped that from my LinkedIn profile because that's where they got the other info from. Holy shit. Whoa, this is fucking wild. This is fucking wild. The Nadavitskowitz's death news has been verified by the sources on the Facebook and Twitter. The Nadav Itzkowitz death has been verified by sources on the Facebook and the Twitter. No, it wasn't. I mean, actually, you know what? I guess Tom posting in memoriam is verifying that I'm dead, you know? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm done. I'm done, man. This, this, this guy is tapped. This guy is fucking tapped. He's asking for $10. And one hundred and fifty dollars for this shit. <sighs> Life isn't fair, man. Life isn't fair. Okay, congratulations to him, bro. Congrats to him, but life ain't fair. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how he's doing it, but wow. Okay. Okay. 